Welcome back to the Brutally Honest video on the Beetle Racer F1 channel and this is the SQ528 clip as in this video we're going to be just uh, doing Brutally Honest re review on the 78710 Singapore Airlines um, Singapore to Chennai Business Class SQ528 This was my first time on the Singapore Airlines 78710 so I was pretty excited to go and sorry about recording this on vertical mode because this is my first time actually doing a trip report or something like this other than that, the quality is so good, so let's get in the video. When I came into the Singapore Airlines Lounge, the Business Class 1 and the First Class 1 and Terminal 3 were closed for renovation. So I went to the normal Singapore Airlines Lounge. Right after going to the lounge, I saw a Singapore Airlines 78710 landing from Osaka and an Airbus A340 Lufthansa and the Star Alliance livery, which was pretty rare. We moved Singapore to Frankfurt, just pushing back. As you can see here, it looks very nice. So other than that, uh, we were going to be going on the 78710 Singapore Airlines Business Class, Singapore to Chennai. Once again, I'm just gonna be telling you that. I was actually very excited to go on the 78710 as it was my first time on this 78710 and on the Singapore Airlines 78710. It's also the newest version of the 787s, 78710s, and the uh, older ones are the 78 and 9s. So now let's just get into the boarding process of the aircraft. Let's go to the air aircraft. Now we started the boarding and the gate and was very nice. Up business class. Other than that, we do, I can uh, see the sun for like 7810 from yeah. my the boarding yeah. gate. We, as we went into the aircraft, the cabin was very nice. They were really kind to greet us into the aircraft. And the seats were a 1-2-1 one, one configuration. There was a lot of legroom and here's the window. You can see a lot of legroom there remote everything and the amenity kits there the the IFE is very nice and big but for my flight it was a bit glitchy for some reason and then we got it fixed later on we started pushing back from our gate as you can see this time lapse as we're now pushing back on the amazing 78710 the 78710 window features a a oh, circle which has a grey button on the top and a white button to dim the window. They don't have a normal feature like the A350 window closing feature. However, I don't really like the very the dimming feature because the cabin crew kind of do have control over it and it's not really original. The seat uh, is very comfy as well. So that was my first impression of boarding the aircraft. So now let's get into the takeoff.
go from Chang'e Airport, you could see the Chang'e but as you do the left hand turn towards Chennai, it was a very scenic view as you could see a lot of ships and the airport itself. We took off right after the SQ510 uh, flight from Singapore to Bangalore and that was a flight I did a trip report on SQ511 and another beauty on this video, in particular A50-900. And so far my impressions have been extremely nice for 78710, very nice and spacious, legroom is very good and the IFE is very nice to use and it looks very nice as well. The crew turn of the lights has normal takeoff procedure, it was a very good takeoff I would say, smooth, everything was nice. Other than that, it was an amazing takeoff and scenic view as well. Uh, yeah. The TV here, big screen, touch screen obviously. You can see the window obviously, the demo. You have the remote, you have the big screen, this is one headphones. And you have like TV spot area. Over here, the tray table, pull out, safety card, and everything is there. For my meal, I got uh, my appetizer was a salad, an Indian salad with some Indian uh, chips called aplum. It was very nice and tasty. I had it for it's a chole salad and some Indian chips and yogurt next to it, which was tasting very nice. And for this flight, I was also in C12A. For the main course, we had a nice Indian rice with paneer, mutter paneer, and a cauliflower curry with yogurt, which was very nice. For this, we got a raspberry uh, mouse or something, mousse or something like that. I'm not really sure. I forgot. I didn't be good. I didn't really like it. It was not that good. Yeah, the overall meal could have improved, but it was kind of good, like very good food though. Other than that, this is the side area where the panels are, you can recline, put, put it on, do not disturb and everything is there and function next to your seat. You can also like call if like, it didn't by pressing the button there next to the do not disturb sign. For the, uh, after that, we got a cheese plate with some cheese, I do not have it, I mainly had the fruits which were extremely good. And the IFE has a lot of choices, you have a lot of movies. And a map choice and everything like that, which I'll show you later on in the video. I just want to be about exactly one hour and four minutes or something that like that into the flight. It was very good so far. Legroom was extremely good. I was, at this point, I was literally flat bed. It was extremely nice. I'm not getting flat bed yet because I don't know. I just don't like it that much. So sitting on everything is here. Yeah, like two pages. and everything like that very nice just gonna put it back we have like a crew kit or something it's like this we always have seat numbers it's just show the amateur way right now uh, over here you have everything like headphones stuff like that so you can like recline to the touch recline the seat you cannot disturb you on off Press this and keep doing this, it will go flat bed. Like it goes flat bed. Yeah, it goes fully flat so right now. And my leg is now forced into a huge leg area, which will go flat now. That's the lights on. So, yeah, that's so far so good. See right now, it was so nice, the flight was very good. And we were right now starting to descend into Chennai. And overall, I would say the flight was 10 out of 10 again. To be honest, the seats were at least 8 out of 10 because they're not as good as the one on the A250. But for a, basically a 4 hour flight, I would say this is enough. Very nice. Seats were great. And yeah, 7817 experience was very good. Thank you, Singapore Airlines. But yeah, and it's pretty nice to go to Chennai in India. They also operate the 7710 to Delhi. They use A250s of Bangalore. And Mumbai and Kolkata and 737 Max right now to Kolkata as well. But then here is the IFV, we have a lot of options. I'm on the map right now and you, if you go just click on that you can get out of the map and you just turn around the aircraft. It's like a 3D model which is extremely nice. You can also change what view you want and right now I exited the map. Here you have a lot of movie choices, you have uh, duty free shopping online and you can buy stuff. You can go on the map, explore Singapore and stuff like that, and you can select your meal. It's very nice, the IFE, there's a lot of stuff to do. I was watching a movie called Lion King, like the newer one, like, it's kind of decent, but yeah. Other than that, this is an extremely nice flight, I would 
really recommend you guys if you want to travel on the 78710 do go for it and yeah I just time lapse this quick approach into Chennai so it doesn't take that much of time. And other than that, the approach into Chennai was just nothing special but it was kind of nice to go back to Chennai since Covid because I couldn't travel for two years because of Covid pandemic. I can see, I can literally see we're right next to the building. Yeah and we're in the airport guys, we're in the airport, we're about to touch down. You see the ring there, ring lights? And we're about to touch down in about three, two, one. Is this gonna be body landing? Oh, that was a fantastic landing! Fantastic landing! What an amazing landing! Look at all these guys. We landed in Chennai. We got trust. Probably is on. The landing in Chennai International Airport was actually very smooth. It was not bad, but it was decent landing, but it was also a smooth body yeah, so landing. It was definitely approved by the landing. Really the landing. Like the landing. Yeah. So we were like, as you land it, you can see parking for share lines and in we will now stop on the taxiway waiting for clearance to go into the gate and other than that i would have to say if you wanted my what my review on this flight would be would be out of 10 in total would be 10 out of 10 again for a normal single flight everything was perfect there was no flaws it was very nice cabin crew were kind everything was good the food was okay other than that yeah and this being my first time on a 78710, I have to say it's the it's kind of nice actually compared to the 78789 of other airlines. But other than that, it's a normal Singapore airline service, extremely nice. And yeah, guys. And if you did enjoy this video, leave a like below, subscribe. I'll be I might do more of these weekly honest videos. And if you did guys enjoy this, leave a like below and subscribe. That would mean a lot. Anyway, guys. Also, before I end the video, the flight was absolutely flawless. There were no issues. Everything was on time. We were at least five minutes early, landing at Chennai on the 78710. Very efficient plane. It's definitely better than the Singapore Airlines 8330. So I think it's a great choice they added the 78710 to the fleet because the 8330s are not as good as the 787s in the cabin. Other than that, great flight. Expectations were met. Amazing. After traveling after two years because of the horrible COVID pandemic which caused all travel to stop for some time. Other than that guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.